This video from a 7-Eleven on Hamilton Street in Hyattsville Monday morning shows what happened after thieves entered and smashed the phone of the sole employee working so he couldn't call 911. The police report says the suspects also tried to disable the store's security cameras without success. The video shows one thief, all in black and wearing a face mask, using a portable hydraulic spreader, commonly called the Jaws of Life, to open the machine. He struggles with the device for a few minutes, trying to get to the money before another suspect wearing a white hoodie comes in to assist. They eventually succeed, then flee with the money. Police won't say how much. What we do know is that the um, ATM was pried open with, with a hydraulic spreader, or what you would refer to as like the Jaws of Life. Um, and there's a string of those robberies uh, in Prince George's County dating back to June of 2023, um, where the, the spreaders or the jaws of life were used to pry those ATMs open. So we are working in partnership with Prince George's County Police um, and other uh, agencies on that string. On January 5th, a burglary was reported at the D.C. Fire Academy in southwest Washington. Among the items stolen, according to the police report obtained by News 4, were three Halligan bars, which are very heavy-duty pry bars. Early Tuesday morning, two men attempted to break into a 7-Eleven off Brandywine Road in Clinton, using the jaws of life to force the door open, but the alarm started blaring and they ran away. Fire crews in Seattle, Washington, have been repeatedly targeted while on the job for the type of equipment that thieves are using to break into the ATM machines. In Hyattsville, Jackie Benson, News 4.